heavens and the earth by thy great power. Lord God, that me the heaven and the earth by the strength of Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Great am I, God. Great I, great is my thing. Absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult for me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, we are going to your word, Father, speak to us. Father, speak to us. We commit our hands up to you, Lord, and we pray that you touch every soul this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, that thou which thou art prepared for your people, Father, let it come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, speak through me because I know nothing. You know you don't, Father. I pray and I commit myself unto you, unto you, Lord. Use me as a vessel this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of the day, Father, take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we are praying. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Good morning, children of God. Uh, before I go into our psalm, I just want to take this moment to appreciate all our pastors, especially our Father and the Lord Prophet Dr. Eskabe and Absentia for giving us that grace to be ministers of God. I want to thank my Father and the Lord, Pastor Yemi Ayemi. Thank you for the opportunity, Pastor Yemi. Thank you. May the Lord continue to strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, this morning, as you have heard that song, uh, the title of my message this morning is that in this year 2014, is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? I, I want you to say it boldly. Is there anything too hard for God? Amen. Um, let us quickly turn to the book of um, Genesis chapter 18. Uh, verses 1 to 18. Because of our time, people of God, we're not going to read it, and I'm going to quickly summarize it. Uh, but before I do that, if you are there, say amen. amen. Chapter 18, verses 1 through 18. Can we quickly look at verse 14? If you say, can you please read verse 14? Verse 14. Brother. Yeah. Is there? anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed I will what? Return unto thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall what? Have us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children of God, this morning, I'm going to quickly summarize that passage. Um, Abraham was standing by the trees of Mara and what happened was that he looked up and saw three men. And as they approached him, he welcomed them into his house. And he told the servants and Sarah to prepare for them and to entertain them. They were welcomed into the house and they were properly taken care of. They entertained them. And children of God, I want you to understand something. Even though Sarah and uh, Abraham, both of them had their own challenge, they did not allow that to prevent them from helping people. They did not allow that to do what? To prevent them from showing mercy.
mercy, favor unto these people. They welcomed them into their house and they entertained these three men. And when they were about to leave, what happened? They said, Where's your wife? And then they told Abraham, Around this time, by next year, we will revisit you. But by, by that time, you will have a child. Sarah was standing by the door. She was listening. You might be that Sarah today. She was listening and her feet was tested. Why? Because she knew they were way beyond that age whereby they could have what? Children. So because of that, her feet was tested. She started laughing. When they asked her, she said, oh, I wasn't laughing. I was just thinking about what you just said. Knew fully in her heart that it could not be possible. The only way it could be possible would be through what? A miracle. The miracle will come to the end with Jesus' name. Amen. What am I saying, people of God? Even in their trial, even for the fact that they had no child, even for the fact that every night, every day, Sarah was crying unto her husband, asking for a child, even in that temptation, even in that trial, even the, the fact that Abraham has been wounded in heart because of the fact that they had no children. What happened? Abraham did not allow that to stop him from helping these people. He allowed them to come into the house and he, he entertained them. When I might say people of God, you might have been like Sarah too. You might be facing challenges, people of God. You, uh, you might be parents, people of God, and you are worried, you are concerned about you are concerned about your children. You might have been a businessman or a businesswoman, you worried about your finances. College students, you don't even know what the future has in stock for you. Do not be worried because the word of God says there's nothing he cannot do. Turn to your Bible to Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. If you say please read. The confirm Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Can we can we all read together? Behold thou as what? That song was taken from there, from that verse. The song we just had this morning. Or the song we just sang this morning. It's taken from that verse. There's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing to hide for God. In this year, 2014, God sees your heart. You have not, God has not forgotten you. He understands your concerns. He understands your sufferings. He understands your desires and expectations. I just want to encourage you this morning. As we are starting the year 2014, people of God, be rest assured that with God, all things are possible. What is too difficult for you? Look at the life of Joseph in Genesis chapter 14. What happened to Joseph? Joseph had a special gift, gift of interpreting dreams. The interpretation of dreams has been bestowed upon Joseph. He was able to interpret dreams. But what happened to him? What happened to him? He suffered a lot. He was sold as a slave. He was in prison for, six, for 13 years. Many, many more that he, that, that, that he witnessed, that he had to endure. And not only that, what happened in the prison while he was in prison, after Potiphar's wife lied about him and he was sent to prison. One day what happened, people of God, um, the chief butler had a dream. And he interpreted that dream. But listen to this. He told, Joseph told the chief butler, don't forget me when it is World War II. What happened in verse 23? He did forget him. You are not forgotten. Amen? What am I saying? The butler forgot him. He forgot all about Joseph. But what happened? Regardless of that situation, because there's nothing God cannot do, God made it possible for him to get out of the prison. Your life may be like that of Joseph too. 
always remember if you have been forgotten at your job in anywhere wherever you find yourself always remember not is too hard for him not is too difficult because if people forget you god will never forget you amen amen you might have been treated unfairly or unjustly it might be sickness invading your body it might be illness affecting you you might be looking for a child remember hannah after many many years after all ridicule embarrassment suffering that she endured in the hands of Penina, what happened? The Lord listened to her, the Lord had favor on her, and the Lord blessed her with a child. Amen? Amen? Even regardless, regardless of what you are going through today, as you are starting this year, 2014, let this be your motto. Let this be your value that you cherish so much. Because God is on the throne. He will never abandon you. There is nothing, absolutely nothing for him too difficult for him that he cannot handle. If you are looking for a job, listen, brother, listen, sister, God is on the throne and is ready, willing, able to provide a better one for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. God is preparing his way for you. Don't be shaken. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be moved. Don't let your faith be shaken because God is on the throne. Look at Lazarus. He was written off. He was dead completely dead. Hallelujah. The man was dead. Even the relatives, they t- when Jesus walked in, they told him, the man is thinking now, you could have come early. You are now showing up. It's already too late. But nothing like too late in the kingdom of God. You're, concerning you, your life can never be too late before God Almighty. Because God is on the throne. What am I saying to you, brother? What am I saying to you, sister? What am I saying to you, mommy? What am I saying to you, daddy? In this year, 2014, please, let this be your motto. Remember, with God, all things are possible. All you need to do, like Psalm 37, verse 4, it says, delight yourself in the Lord. He will give you the desire of what? Of your heart. Be delighted in the things of God. Do more for God, regardless of what is going on around you. Continue to do more. As you do more, God will fight your battle. As you do more, God will rise up for you. As you do more, that which people think is impossible will be possible for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Verse 5 of that chapter, 37, Psalm 37, it says, Commit your ways before the Lord, trust in Him, and He will what? He will act. He will make it possible for you. Commit all your ways before the Lord. When you walk left, when you walk right, when you walk north, when you go south, commit your way. That's what He requires from you this year. And He will do it. He will perfect everything. Because nothing is too difficult for God to do in your life. Don't write yourself for brother and sister. Your deliverance is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. Those children, fear not. Because they are for signs and wonders. Amen. Sickness, fear not. The value is on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Briefly, that's the story of Jesus and the young rich man. He went to Jesus and asked, What shall I do? Or what can I do to inherit the kingdom of God? God said, Thou shalt not stay, thou shalt not commit adultery. Jesus Christ went on and on and on. He said, all these things I have done. All these things I have kept. What's there else? What, what's left? What's left? Lord, what's left? And Jesus Christ told him, go out there, sell all your properties. Sell everything that you have and follow me. What next? And the, the Lord said, it will be so difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God because of property. Amen. And I want you to quickly turn to that because I really, really want us to, to read in Matthew 19, verse 26. Amen. That's it, my brother. He said, Amen. Amen. Twenty-four. 
And again I say unto you. Mm -hmm. It is easier for a camel to go through the eyes of what? Than for you see how difficult it is for a rich man? You see how difficult it is for a rich man? Because of what? Because of properties, because of inheritance. And what God says in verse 19, with God all things are what? With God, in verse 26, it says, with God all things are possible. So why are you worried? Worry, is, worry tribulation, trials will not be your portion in year 2014 in the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, I want you to understand this. All men that God uses greatly, amen, he will first of all prepare them what? Greatly. You want me to repeat that? All men that God uses greatly, he will first of all prepare them what? Greatly. The only problem we have as human beings is that period of preparation to our greatness. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait. That's the problem. But let me tell you this morning, when you're going through that period of waiting, that period of preparation, God is with you. He sees it. Because every creature belongs to him and every creation of the heart belongs to who? God Almighty. This morning, the Lord Almighty will order your steps in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you are being stopped, he sees it. He knows about it. Amen? Amen. Concerning your finances, miracles on the way. Amen. Miracles on the way. Amen. Concerning that healing, healing is on the way. Amen. Supernatural healing will be your pressure in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So what is, it, what is expected of you this year in 2014? I am encouraging you this morning, forget all the hurt, forget all the tribulation, forget all the disappointment. This is a new year. Just be yourself. Don't be like nobody. Just be who you are. If you don't want to be disappointed, be who you are and the Lord will bless you. It's so simple. Be yourself in this 2014 and you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. God will never leave you alone because with him all things are possible. He will never abandon you. He says he will never abandon you. He will not leave you alone because God is with you. There's nothing to too difficult for our God to do. Amen? Amen? So if you don't remember anything, look at Rachel. The last example I want to give you, look at the life of Rachel. What happened? Her sister Leah was giving birth one after the other. Even though Rachel was in so much pain because God closed her womb, she had no child. And she kept on praying, kept on praying, kept on praying. It is how well, it is how well the, the end matters a lot, not the beginning. And the end matters in every situation. At the end of it, what happened to Rachel? She was blessed with a child. So if God could do it for Joseph, if he could do it, if God could do it for Lazarus, if God could do it for Anna, if God, God Almighty could do it for people like that in the Bible, how much more you? God will never abandon you. In 2014, I pray that the power to walk steadfastly with the Lord, God will give up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, finally, don't write yourself up. Trust in God. Because the word says, nothing is too difficult for you to do. Delight yourself in the world. Delight yourself in the, in, in the word of God, in the things of God. And the Lord will do it. The Lord will do it. The Lord will do it. Shall we all rise? In Jesus' name.